Hello, in this video I will be going over my Musa setup for tier 2 Caps Node Wars. Cap Node War content is in my opinion one of the best PvP content that you can do on Musa. This is largely due to the fact that players are capped on how tanky they can be and you won't come across insanely tanky players that you can't damage. Musa's role in Node Wars is to pick players off that are located outside of the main raid blob. This can be done with an organized flex team or if you are experienced enough like me, you can solo play. Your main objective will be to disrupt players and draw attention away from the main raid fights. As you can see, there are specific gear caps when it comes to doing cap node wars. For T2 node wars, the caps will look like this. If you're unsure whether you meet the gear cap, simply equip your gear and hover your mouse over the node war information. If you meet the requirements, then your information will be highlighted in green. My evasion rate is set to 15% by default. And if you really want to, you could put an extra evasion rate add-on on to maximize it, however, I personally don't. My accuracy rate is set to 7%, and I typically have this boosted during my self-buff process, which can be done with the ability Eradicate. It's 9% accuracy rate. I will go over what I run in order to have the remaining stats maxed out. For buffs, you will be doing your standard exquisite crown meal food, giant drafts, and spirit perfumes. These are the basics when it comes to doing node wars. Spirit perfumes are cheap and offer a HP boost. Cap node wars are all about HP stacking, so we want to make the most of everything to have the best survivability possible. Use church buffs for additional stats located at every major city. For furniture buffs, you'll want to purchase the Master Special Stuff Shadow Wolf Head, which give you plus 100 HP for 3 hours. Horse gear is also very useful not only to you but your allies. Using a 5 set C Crocdala horse gear set, you can self buff yourself and allies around for 100 HP and stamina every time you respawn after death. I personally have a T10 Doom horse, however for node wars I specifically used a unicorn for the unicorn buff. Unicorn buff offers a great HP recovery and additional stats for a whole minute on a 3 minute cooldown. I highly recommend trying it out. These are my Nodor Crystals. I use a 4 set effect of Hoom Crystals, a Hate tier, Special Evasion, 2 Elkers, 2 Rebellious, 2 Corrupt, 2 Glorious Olacus for the attack speed, and a Spear Bond Cobalinus for the extra HP. I will link my Garmoth gear in the description in case you can't find these gems. For add-ons, since our damage and tankiness is capped in a T2 Nodor, we're going to focus on stacking Bleed Dots, Debuffs, and some attack and movement speed buffs for ourselves. Put on some back attack damage add-ons where I see fit, as your damage does increase despite the cap. Pause the video now to copy the add-ons. For gear, I will be using my standard gear, however, my earrings are replaced by Chimera Pupil Gems. These earrings are best in slot due to offering down attack damage increase while not falling below the AP cap. If you are a very geared player, the Kaya Necklace can be used as a necklace substitute for its back attack damage. However, I do not meet the AP cap with it, so I usually don't wear it. Verla Star is an alternative alchemy stone to Lavelle's Heart. Its main use is for tankier classes for its plus 200 HP, and it does offer 5% movement speed. This is at the cost of losing Lavelle's Heart attack speed. I find myself to prefer having more attack speed over the HP and movement speed, so I never really use this, but maybe you'll want to. Artifacts, a dual set of max HP artifacts with 4 heart light stones on will boost your HP by a lot. This is the best for capped Nodor content. This is basically my setup for T2 Nodors. Hopefully I didn't miss out anything big. You do have the option to use a full elixir rotation if you have them, but I am cheap and lazy so I do it the easy way with drafts. If you have a Garm with pet dragon then it can also offer you additional HP depending on its tier. And that's about it. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you found this information useful. Happy Nodori!